prevents it. And that's the main thing. And that's, you know, people, I get a lot of pushback because they're like, well, just because you say there's no law that prevents it doesn't mean it's happening. Well, again, if I could prove that games were legitimately being fixed the way I think they're being fixed, uh, we'd be having different conversations. <laughs> you know, I mean, it would just be in your face. But basically, there's two laws that come close to controlling sports in a way. And one's the, called the, basically called the quiz show law. And it dates back to the 1950s when uh, television networks were legitimately fixing um, quiz shows, game shows. And they were doing it exactly for the same reasons I think the NFL and the NBA are fixing games. Is they were fixing them to make them more entertaining. So they are giving certain popular contestants the answers and kind of told them to act like they're struggling to figure it out or whatever. But it was all orchestrated. And so it actually got uncovered by Congress, believe it or not. And they passed a law that said you cannot fix an intellectual contest for television purposes, but it specifically says in the law intellectual contest. So it doesn't mean like survivor can't be fixed or American idol can't be fixed or the bachelor can't be fixed or any of these reality TV shows can't be fixed. It just means you can't fix the show like jeopardy or wheel of fortune, but all these other ones, including the NFL, the NBA, major league baseball, the NHL, they can technically be fixed because they're not intellectual contests. And then the other law that exists, which dates back to 1964 is called the sports bribery act. And it's literally four sentences long, and it basically says you cannot bribe a player, a coach, or an athlete to alter the outcome of a game. But if you have other ways of controlling people to get them to alter the outcome of a game, perhaps, say, like the NBA dictating to its referees how we want you to officiate games, and that may give an advantage to one team or one player over another, and it alters the outcome of a game, well, nobody's being bribed. It's just the employer telling its employee what to do and how to do it. And they go out there and do it. And if it changes the outcome of a game, so be it. So there's no law that's stopping the league from fixing the game. The most closest thing that many people would argue is it'd be fraud. So it'd be fraudulent if they say we're putting on a legitimate sporting competition, but we're really not, we're kind of messing with it. Well, that's actually been disproven in court because of member or remember back when, uh, Spygate happened in the, with the Patriots. Mm -hmm. A New York Jets fan sued the New England Patriots in the NFL over it, basically asking for 10 years worth of tickets back because he witnessed so many fixed games essentially conducted by the New England Patriots when they're cheating. And the outcome of that court case, and it went to like the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, the judges basically ruled and they said, look, when you buy a ticket to an NFL game, all the league has to do is put on a football game. It doesn't mean certain rules have to be applied. It doesn't mean certain players have to play. It doesn't mean certain coaches have to call certain plays. As long as they put on a football game, it could be fixed. They could be cheating. They could do whatever they want. You got what you paid for. The NFL is free and clear of any, you know, what it has to provide to you. As long as they don't play basketball or put on a boxing match instead of a football game, they've, you know, done what they told you they were going to do as a ticket purchaser. So there's no fraud being conducted if their game's being fixed. Mm -hmm. So there's no law that's stopping them from doing this. So the question is, do you really believe they have enough integrity not to potentially alter the outcome of certain <laughs> games? Because that's what it's down to. It's just their word that they're not, it's not happening.